I've heard that there are, there's a big cycle of 26,000 years, but you said 5,125. Well, remember I, I told you in the Mayas we had 17 calendars. One has connection, one is small with an, another a little more big like this. So all the calendars have connection all together. In December 21st, it's going to end, going to the end, one long count. That's Eric Thompson put that name. But the really long count for me is 26,000 26, years. That really, the really count because it's the, the really moment when many things are going to change in the air. So today, something's going to change, but the principle of us is the calendar of 26,000 years. Is when suppose the, the sun is going to appear in another place, like today, appear in the east. In the cycle of 26,000 years, can appear in the west. So big changes can happen in this way. They move things. Today, our air, the sun coming from the east, suppose in 26,000 years it's going to appear in the, in the west. But when that happens, it's because many things in the cosmos is going to change in our solar system. So is that the, the, the shift of the pole, the north pole on the earth? Yes, something can happen like this. And this is not the first time it happened that. It happened in many times. That's one of the reasons in Alaska, you excavate there, you can find oil. Uh, oil, we know, is part of the vegetation thousand, thousand years ago. So, so that's one of the demonstrations. That cycle went to the end many times. Is that then what's going to happen in December? Well, we don't know exactly. That's another information. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe many people, they don't know about that because when the Spanish came to the Maya land, they destroyed it. A lot of codices. They destroyed a lot of stellas. And with that, they rise it the information, it was there. Uh, today, I hope more institutions can, can do some, um, some fundraising like for, for more people can study more deep the Mayan culture. And then they can find something can tell the truth, what can happen. But for me, my investigation is not so deep in that way because, you know, it's I'm not a rich people, I not belong to any institution to help it with some, some money for can continue to study. The book I have there about Mayan calendars, the eight Mayan calendars, this is the first time somebody published something like this. But that information I have there is the traditional information they give to me a long time ago for part of my family. So, but I hope maybe another institution for, for something to help them for money, another investigation can come and know more about this. But it's good if new students about this come to the Mayan traditions because we keep something there. The institutions we have today, like, like Mexico, in Elina, uh, they more study more the European culture for to understand Mayan calendars. <laughs> so they don't go directly to the traditional people to ask what they understand. And the information I have in my books is traditional information. Because it's, it's, it's something exists in the memory of the people today, 
and the Mayan culture is there. Is there a place where we can go study with you in Mexico? Well, now I am working, I, can create, I create the Mayan community, the Lolbe, when the idea is to, to bring many traditional people and ask more investigation, uh, ask to them to work with us and give more information. I know it exists because what I know is part of that information they give in my, my directly family. But how many indigenous there up there maybe the jungle, they have knowledge too. Uh, I hope in the future we can create something and bring that people and ask to them to, to tell us what they know. And many things we can learn if we work in that way. But problem today, in Mexico like to know more about calendars. They call in Europe or they call people they don't know not, not very much about calendars and they can explain. And they, the, 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 the institutions there, because some people from some university, chair university, in it, can explain something about calendars, it's better they took that than go to the traditional people. That's one of the reasons, big mistake to understand calendars. Today, in the, the official teaching in Mexico, Eric Thompson, he established, how many years ago, the Mayas started the civilization. And today, they're repeating the same story. Fray Diego de Landa, Eric Thompson, many things like that. But never go to the traditional people to ask. That's the one that is most of the humanity, they don't understand the Mayan calendars. But I thought the Mayans disappeared and they went to the stars. That is his story, or Eric, uh, is the Bon Danikin. The Mayas, we still are there. Look, they're Maya. Look at my eyes. <laughs> I am Maya. So, um, so mistake. Many mistakes in the Maya, uh, the Maya education today because they've been repeating what the Spanish they said about the Mayas or what Danny King is. He said about the Mayas. For Danike, it was easy. They said, oh, the Mayas disappeared. But close to them is some Mayas sit down there. Disappear or appear there. <laughs> so many mistakes exist in the system, and we need to take out all the mistakes, and then in that way, going to the traditional people, we can understand much better the really Mayan civilization. For more information on the next Star Knowledge Conference, go to starknowledgeconference.com. <laughs>